What's up my party people? Bryce Hall back with another video. And you click this video for a reason. There's also arcade games in the back for a reason. I'm a total boss at every single one of those games. Fuck! God damn it. Fuck these games. So yeah, you guys click this video for a reason. I will be reacting to the harshest roasts of the roast of Bryce Hall. If you guys didn't even know that there was a roast of me that came out on Jason's channel, it's gonna be linked in the top of the description. They did happen to cut a shit ton of the roasts and luckily my videographer was there, shout out J-Rod. So we're gonna be reacting to some unseen sets, unseen jokes, and unseen footage. There's a lot of fucked up jokes, but at the end of the day, it is a roast. <laughs> I'm trying to lighten the mood because a lot of the jokes were actually fucked up, but shout out to everyone that participated participated in the roast, you guys did great. Oh yeah, I noticed a shit ton of you guys aren't subscribed, so let's uh, let's change that. Watch my videos, please. Put a lot of effort into them as I'm sitting on this bench and reacting to a roast that somebody else posted. All right, so we're gonna start out with uh, Jason because he was the first roaster, kind of set the tone for everything. Bro, you are one sickly looking toy. <laughs> you look like Gumby on meth. I love how they cut most of the jokes because of the sponsor Seek but left in a lot of edgy humor. Tana, thank you for doing the roast. It's, this would not be possible without you. Thank you for doing it. Really, I mean it. The, the roast would not be the same without you, so it's so good that you- He just wants to f*** me. Oh, Tana. A lot of the things that everyone was saying about Tana was just that she's- How can we put this in YouTube safe terms? Oh yeah, a whore. She's got a new publicist every two weeks because they each keep killing themselves. It's true, I did once try to make out with Tana, but to be fair, I thought she was Joan Rivers. They don't even seem like roasts. They kind of just seem like, hey, I wanted to get this off my chest. So by the way, you're a whore. Tana and Bryce canceled their tour due to COVID, which is just PR talk for no one bought tickets. <laughs> okay, that's... Some person just knocked on my door and then opened it. And the only reason I noticed that they opened it is because my security system said that the front door was open. Welcome to Las Vegas, am I right? Now the man Hall, the most hated man on the internet. Am I the most hated person on the internet? I can see like in the fight era, I was the most hated on the internet, but I feel like I'm building my, my reputation back up. Come on guys, I was just trying to sell some tickets. Guess we'll live with it. <laughs> it's true, Bryce's career is a lot like the hair on his head. It's falling off and will be gone by the time he's 30. I'm not losing hair. I just have a big forehead. Like I do, I have like a, a pretty large forehead. I was born with it, but that was like most of the jokes. Bryce and Tana have a lot in common. Tana has sex on OnlyFans, and Bryce only has sex with his fans. <laughs> my face at that part. I don't have sex with my fans. That was that was the best joke. Overall, Jason did pretty great on the roast. Um, he did put the whole thing together and helped basically every single roaster up there write their set. I would give his set like an eight out of 10. Definitely top three best roasters in my opinion with delivery, just being comfortable up there. All right, next person is Adam W, best roaster of the night. Nobody really showed him any recognition, but here's me giving him recognition. Adam, you did fucking great and I wanna see you do more of these. Tana does make a lot of money on OnlyFans. Uh, I don't know your net, but I do know you're gross. <laughs> Look at the reaction of the crowd. He was not missing. Anna has a podcast called Cancelled, which is in reference to her two pregnancies this past month. <laughs> Josh reminds me a lot of Drake. They're both big stars from Toronto, except the only difference is Drake started from the bottom and you started as a bottom. <laughs> I don't think there was a single joke of his that didn't land. I remember I was just sitting up there, I was drinking so many drinks, so. Honestly, I personally don't even remember most of the roast, so re-watching it right now, it's given me kind of like a rejog of my memory. Jonah's brother's actually here tonight, Vardon. Vardon's doing security. That kid is built like a bouncer. Uh, sorry, I meant bounce house. Yeah, so is your gym membership. <laughs> I don't even remember that part, what the fuck? Didn't fold, doubled down on it. Fucking hilarious. I give Adam set like a 10 out of 10. Up next is Josie. She's probably gonna watch this. Hi Josie, I thought you were gonna bomb heavy, not gonna lie, but she delivered it perfectly and she looked good doing it. But let's be honest, all the Sway boys have the exact same hairstyle. How to cover a receding hairline. <laughs> It was really fucking confusing when I would like hook up with Bryce. Every time we do doggy style, he put a picture of Noah Beck on the back of my head. That's not true. Okay, maybe one time. Just right off the bat, roasting me about my receding hairline, which isn't entirely true, and our sex life. Bryce has a 
a pretty decent left hook. And I don't mean his punch, I mean his dick literally hooks to the left. <laughs> it doesn't like hook, it's like a gradual left. It looks like a candy cane, and I'm talking about the width too. You can see it in my face that I'm just like, wow, she's like, <clears throat> you know what I mean? No, but actually, has anyone ever wondered how many Sway House members it takes to screw in a light bulb? Who knows, they're all too busy cheating on their girlfriends. <laughs> God, I don't want to be categorized in that. There were some cheaters. I wasn't one of them. I'm a, a loyal Sway member. Josh, the fuck are you laughing about? Does Bryce know you slid in the DMs recently? You tell Bryce about that? Look at my look at my reaction to that. I'm like, wow. Josh slid into Josie's DMs to try to hang out while I was kind of like macking. Kind of fucked up considering what happened to him. That was a little shot at Josh, but love you, buddy. Speaking of partying, I've seen Bryce sniff out more cocaine than a canine at the airport. Everyone loved that joke. That is not fucking true. I don't do coke. I like shotgun energy drinks, Annie, and that's why I'm always so jittery and shit. I don't fucking do coke. Bryce, also, like, love you, but what the fuck's going on with your hair? When you go to the barber, do you just ask for the school shooter? Or like, what the fuck's <coughs> going on? <laughs> Ooh, I don't remember no, that no, joke in there. That. I'll give Josie second place. I heard Jeff's set, I was drunk, but I do have some unseen footage from his set that I'm going to react to and show some of you guys. Mainly his roasts run Jonah. Eminem and Eight Mile, baby. Yeah. Fuck the free world. Yeah. You got the whole crowd to just chant fuck Jonah, which is pretty funny. The are gay. Let's get the Bryce here. Bryce, the man in the hour. I didn't even prepare that much for you because I, I, you know, my set was mostly directed at Jonah. I would definitely put Jeff up there. He interacted with the crowd mainly. Now on to Tana. Seriously, Jake, I miss you. I'm fake and you're a wannabe for clown. <laughs> Alright, maybe like some of the things that I did relate to Jake. I was like a fucking 20 year old to 22. I'm, I'm matured now. Honestly, I would give Tana's roast like a 7 or 8 out of 10. Alright, now on to the boy Josh. His set was honestly great. They did cut a lot of his jokes out. Definitely a little more on the vulgar side. A lot of people say Tana's uneducated. But that's not true. It's not. She has a degree from UTI and a master's in HPV. Everyone said about Tana was just calling her. <laughs> How are we not canceled? Oh my god. Jeff and Tana hooking up is like a dildo f***ing a fleshlight. Squeaky, dry, and bad for the environment. I can't tell if Tana's laughing with all the Botox. Just making fun of Tana's plastic surgery. How did you not inherit any baseball skills from your dad, Josie? Every time a guy comes at you, he gets a third base. Did you see how real it got in that room once he said that? <laughs> Josh is set, definitely going in on everybody. I just want everyone to know I never claimed to be a roaster. I hated that joke. I can't believe I said that! I'm so pissed, I'm gonna be haunted by that for the rest of my fucking life. Never claimed to be a fighter? Dude, I meant to say boxer. A lot of people think you exaggerate when you say you're 5'9", but I believe you, dude. I do. I believe you. Not fucking 5'9". Freaking 5'10". And there's a big difference. 5'9 seems like a short man. And if we're rounding up 5'10", like, I might as well be six foot. Why his neck is so long. As a kid, he used to stretch it, looking for his dad out the window. <laughs> Papa? <laughs> that was so fucked up. I'm glad he ended it on a, uh, you don't have a dad, but um, they cut out most of my jokes about Josh in my set. So luckily for you guys, I actually have some of those jokes. Josh has recently started his acting career. He's been trying to pursue acting. He's just been casted as a cancer patient on Attaway General. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, but you still need to gain a few pounds to fit the role, but I'm sure you'll get it, buddy. Josh famously co-created an energy drink with me. I guess anything to get the taste of Dave Portnoy's balls out of his throat. <laughs> One load, you know the rules. <laughs> like, why are they cutting some of these jokes? Like, that was freaking good. Like, Dave Portnoy has the one-bite pizza review. Like, like Josh is taste testing Dave Portnoy's balls. Josh Ritt, okay, this one's kind of fucked. I say even before this, it's kind of fucked, so maybe cut this out. Josh Richards' best friend stole his ex-girlfriend, and now both of them have a very successful music career together. Yeah! Oh no, that's it. That's that's yeah! the Now Jesus Christ. Jaden's the next MGK and you co-host a podcast with a 50-year-old man who reviews pizza. Yeah! 
<laughs> now that I'm like listening to that one back, that one was a little fucked up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a great big thumbs up if you did, or a thumbs down. I won't be able to see it. Shout out you, YouTube. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe another roast. Who fucking knows?